The different parts for the rear spoiler have now been prepped, ready for painting. You can see any of the white sections on here where it's been filled. There were a number of pinholes and issues on this piece. You can see quite a few areas on there where it's been done. Also on the deck lid, around the around the edges, particularly. So various sections on there. Just go all the way around so you can see. And on this corner around here. And some on the flat section. And then on the spoiler blade itself, along the edge, where the joints are, and just generally, particularly along all the edges. So that's now all prepared, and we'll be having the primer put on next. And I'll return when the primer's been put on to see how it looks then. Now I've got some primer on the parts. As you can probably hear, we've got the uh, extractor going in here as well. So these have all been done. We'll be ready for the top coat very soon. So if you look on the on the surface, you see we've got a very nice finish on the surface. All the pinholes have been filled in, but we haven't done it along the back. So if you look on here, this is where this is on the um, the air deflector, which will go on the, the back of the spoiler. So if you won't see that section because it's going to that's where it's going to attach onto the spoiler. So can't really can't really see too much on here because it's a very flat surface. But they're all all done now, all ready to go. So next step is some top coat. So after a second go of, of filling and flatting with the primer, the pink or ruby stone, as it's properly called, is now on these parts. So we've got the uh, the deck lid on there and the main wing on here. So the last part to do is to get the, the black parts done. So this metal on here will be done black and the, the end plates will also be black. And then it should be ready to get fitted onto the car. Now finished painting the rear wing and got it mounted onto the rear of the car. Here you can see the air scoop which is additional. I did a photo of this before the air scoop was fitted so I'll just put this in here so they can see the difference um, without the air scoop fitted and with it fitted. Personally I think it finishes it off nicely. I like the look of it on there so I'm um, glad I went for that option. With all of the painting done, the, the finish on it, try and get in quite close, is, is generally pretty good. You can see a little bit of sort of wavering across the, the surface there. The, the person who did the painting said it was a, a, a real job with all the, the pin pricks in it. It was quite a job to do that. Um, some, of the, some of the areas were worse than others, but it, it did take a long time. The general fit on it though, now that it's on, is looking good. I, have, I do have to adjust the, the lights. They're not quite fitting right, but I haven't set those up properly yet. But it all went together nice and easily. I've just picked arbitrary holes for, for that. You can see there's a bit of, bit of dust on there, so it's, it's nothing much. So there you can see the finish that we managed to get on it. I, I haven't finished the underside yet, so it's, it's mounted on the on the hinges I've put the, the strut on it on there as you can see but I, I haven't mounted the, the bump stops or the, the fan yet. So I'll get those fitted, I'll get the latch on, get it adjusted and then I'll do the final part of this video when the car is basically back together and the rear end is all on it so I can comment on the, the final fit and finish of it. So that's it for the second part and I'll get back to you with the final part as soon as I can.